Also at ASCO we presented the, uh, the results of the uh, 264 study, which is a randomized phase 2 study in patients with stage 3B, 3C and stage 4 melanoma. And these are patients that have a uh, dermal subcutaneous or lymph node lesion that we could inject with uh, telemaginal herpereptic, also known as TVEC. Now in this study specifically, this was a randomized phase 2 study in which half the patients received ipilimumab, which is an anti-acetyl A4 antibodies. The other half received ipilimumab plus TVEC. Now TVEC, or telemaginal herpereptic, is a herpes simplex type 1 virus that is already FDA approved. And it's a virus that has been shown to have an effect both where we inject it into tumors, but also to have a systemic effect. And combining it with ipilimumab, we wanted to see if we could have a better effect compared to what we would see with ipilimumab alone. So the primary endpoint for this uh, study was overall response rate, as based on immune-related response criteria. And the study met its primary endpoint. Um, in the randomized study, which had about 100 patients in each arm, we found that the response rate in patients treated with ipilimumab alone was 18%, whereas the response rate in patients treated with um, uh, ipilimumab plus uh, TVEC was 38%, so more, more than a doubling of the response rate. Specifically, we also did subset analysis and looked at the stage of disease that the patients had, um, so uh, looking at patients with stage 3B, 3C, and stage 4 M1A disease, and these are patients who do not yet have liver and lung metastases and other visceral metastases. And we found that in this setting, uh, and there was a further increase in the response rate in patients receiving uh, IPI plus TVEC versus IPI alone. But also, I think importantly as well, in patients that did have lung and liver metastases, we saw a doubling of the response rate in patients receiving epiplastivic versus uh, epilimumab alone. I personally think that this is a very groundbreaking study. This is a first randomized uh, study using an oncolytic immunotherapy with a checkpoint inhibitor, inhibitor to see res uh, responses in patients with metastatic melanoma. So from that perspective, I think that the fact that we see an almost a 40% response rate is very exciting for us. So where are we taking this uh, next? Um, so we are actually doing an, an additional study right now where we're combining TVEC with, uh, with pembrolizumab, which is an anti-PD-1 inhibitor or antibody. In that setting, patients are randomized uh, in a phase three study to receive either TVEC and pembrolizumab and uh, versus a placebo that we inject into the tumor and pembrolizumab. I think that's also an important study because the whole question is what does interlesional therapy add to the response rate? And by injecting saline or a placebo into those lesions, we will get, have a good idea about the added benefit of using TVEC with pembrolizumab. So this is a large phase three randomized study with 660 patients and uh, a study that we hope to meet accrual within the next uh, year or so. And the primary endpoint for that study is actually a dual primary endpoint with uh, uh, progression-free survival as well as overall survival.